M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at the Anytone 8555N2 programming software. It's a lovely looking radio, as you can see here with these photographs. Provided by Walcott Radio. Very nice. Big set, very big set. 10, 11 and 12 meter built-in PA large LCD display. So the things you're going to need are to download the program which is here. The one you download is the QPS 555N2. This is the newest model, okay? 2023, 2024. So you're going to need that. Download that and just run it in the normal way. You're also going to need a USB cable. This is the one we've got. I'll put a link in where you can get one. But most of your ham radio shops will have one in there, or you could try Amazon, eBay, that kind of stuff. And it has a, a small square type micro USB and then a USB adapter for your PC. Now you need to plug it into the right place. So let's just look at that photograph. On the back here, at the top, you can see between the speaker and the PA out, there's a little square USB. Now the other end of the USB does have like a FTDI chip in it. It's not just a, you can't just use a normal USB cable. It's got to be the correct one. So when you've run the software, you get this program, okay? Let's have a look. Uh, so we've got the cable already connected to the back of my set. And you can see the front display at the moment. We do need to find the com, so you go right click device manager. Now I have read from it once already. Double click where it says ports and you've got COM25 and it says here USB enhanced serial CH343. So you need to download that driver which is again in the all the Anytone downloads but mine didn't need it, it just worked it out for itself. But I am running Windows 10 11 it does tend to to do that. So because uh, I know some people think oh I miss Windows 7, but Windows 11, I find it really good uh, for ham radio stuff. Next thing you know is go to the top and click communication port. So setup, then communication port, right at the top here. Fourth tab along, communication, and you're going to need to select yours, which we saw that just now. It was COM25. Click OK. Now let's just read from the radio. So you can either press one of these little TVs here. Okay, and these are shortcuts to communication port, as you see, read and write, or you can go program, read and write. So let's just do the little blue TV. And we're gonna click, okay. And it's now reading, and you can see the radio switches now, and says PC. Now I found that when I finished programming, that I had to turn the radio on and off to, to bring it back to where you want it to be. So it's quite fast, I think. Now, the 5555 only has, as far as I can see, six memory channels. And you can see that, that they've already been put in here, the memory channels. Just let that load. Right, it's loaded. Okay, so we've now read from the radio. I noticed that even when I click OK, it still says PC end on the radio but you've got some tone squelch here because you can use repeaters scan delete busy on off repeater plus or minus shift for setting up repeaters we've got public is that PA I'm not sure what that is high cut is like a filter noise blanker echo on off give you some extra you know, echo on your audio, plus 10 kilohertz mode, and, and Roger. These are all the same as the buttons along the bottom of the actual radio. Work groups, that's the bands. There is a button on the radio to the left, far left of the radio. You've got the band button. And different memory banks by the looks of it. Oh, there they are, I know, they're it's all presets aren't they you can change them by the looks of a b look at the frequencies changing here just here they're changing so really you either like what the presets 
you like your memories or you're going to have a little tweaks maybe in in your country the cb bands might be different if or if you want to use 10 meter 12 meter you might want to tweak all of this you can save look i can just go file save and it will save a file somewhere new you can bring that back in as well if you forget all your memories do a blank sheet with the blank page open the one we just saved look open you can open it i'm going to do that now uh, let's have a look look at these channel information we're on that now optional features so that's like holding down your finger on settings i would guess timeout boot up characters so you can actually change that yeah i could put my ham call in there couldn't i is that mic game nog what's that squelch scan fine tune correct me if i get anything wrong frequency or channel display auto squelch offsets when you're setting a repeater you can set the offset of course you can do this on the radio as well mic type eldy someone tell me what that is vox vox time echo volume tdc nr bypass so noise reduction tx noise reduction and then we've got yeah we've got weather channels again you can select them on the front of the radio i've seen that modes to enable and they're all enabled look you can disable modes got a roger beep there let's have a look at roger beep oh it's got its own little thing for changing tones that's very elaborate for roger beep and then the weather channels and then when you're done tinkering let's have a look at view here language initial setting what's that oh okay i'm not going to do that i've just reset everything haven't i i think i'm going to go program read from my radio <laughs> before i lose all my channels so have a tinker i'll put all the links in the description so you can get yourself a cable put a link into purchasing this radio in in the uk i got it from moonrake and it was a really good price it was under 200 pound in the usa they're all going to have them aren't they uh, there is the other model which is the qt60 um, um, but i'd go for the latest one you don't have to lift the lid to to connect the programming cable you just plug it in the back and the modification if you want to do that is really simple so thanks for watching my channel and that's 7.3 for now all the best